All right, it's time to make some cheese steaks. So we got the meat, the Velveeta cheese, the red onion, uh, a couple of green peppers, <clears throat> and then some seasoning on the sides. Um, I use a zesty seasoned salt, so it's seasoned salt with cayenne pepper, and then some canned mushrooms. And that's all you need along with your choice of some french rolls for this meal. <clears throat> Um, so the first thing I do is chop up all of the onions and the peppers, throw them in the skillet, and then add those ingredients, a uh, lemon pepper, um, an onion salt, some olive oil, and then just a little bit of some garlic. And I'll put that on about a five, throw the lid on top, and let it just get all nice and sizzled. Alright, here's the steaks. I cut them in halves and then throw them on. There's what a couple of them already pre-grilled look like. I try not to grill them all the way through, keep them a little bit red because we're going to combine them with these peppers and the onions uh, just a little bit later. So here's a look at the peppers and the onions getting all nice and sizzled. The goal is to get them blackened so they taste really good. Uh, the steak's getting done so I'll chop it in little cubes. Uh, that look like this. You can see it's still just a little pink. That way when you throw it in the skillet, it's not going to get all dry. So you'll still have that nice savory meat flavor and texture and taste. Um, and I'll just continue grilling, slicing, grilling, slicing. And here is the final look at all of the meat <clears throat> chopped up into little cubes. I prefer cubes over strips just because it's easier to eat. And here's another look at the onions and the peppers starting to look all caramelized, which is what you want. Um, I mean, some people prefer a more raw taste with their cheesesteaks, but me, I, I like them just nice, well done, caramelized. And then I'll throw in the mushrooms, let them get all nice and mixed in, get them a little warm, stir things up a little bit here. And by now I put the meat, or the, uh, I put the temperature on just a two. So this way it's not going to overdo everything and make it all mushy and gross and um, <clears throat> here is the meat going in so I'll add that all in there you can see like I said before it's still just a little pink but don't worry if some people don't like you know meat not well well done it's gonna cook through once we start s stirring everything in together and then adding the cheese um, so speaking of cheese I take a Velveeta block put about eight ounces on there and then try and stir it up um, you gotta kind of just break it up into little sections. And then I'll let that get all nice and sizzled. Um, I'll put the temperature up to probably about a four. And here is a look at the cheese all melted in. And you got that just little bubble effect, which is what you want. So that way everything just is, all the cheese and the flavoring is going right into the meat. Peppers and onions are already cooked through. So at this point, everything's done. So I'll get out my French rolls. Um, I picked these ones just because they were on sale. Usually I pick fresh baked ones from the bakery, but I got there around six o'clock and they didn't have any more. And now the final product. So the buns are all nice and toasted, crisp. I'll take the skillet and just load up these buns with all of the meat, the cheese, the peppers, the onions, and the mushrooms and let it sit for about a couple minutes till it cools down and then just dig right in. That's it. That is my Philly cheesesteak creation.